What? <laughs> you wanna say something? Yes. Hey guys, welcome back to. Okay. <laughs> so, hey guys, welcome back to another no, episode of my brother. Uh, YouTube channel Wonkers with Lando. <laughs> Wait, Anyways, um, MTB was doing a scavenger hunt, and they would give you clues about three different baits, and, um, well, actually, before that, they posted a video, and the more likes it got, the more percentage off these baits would be, and, um, and it ended up getting to the max, which was 60%, and, um, we each ordered these baits. I think it ended up being a total of, um, it was, like, five dollars, five forty-something, and... All the baits were actually more than that, so we paid out, like, <laughs> if I do the math. Six bucks? No, no, no. Um, like, almost two dollars per bait, which is crazy, because one was almost, or there were two that were almost six, and one almost seven, so. Yeah, but anyways, we're gonna just get right into it. You can go ahead and cut yours, don't you have scissors? Chris Brown that um, had a small crankbait business and he hand painted crankbaits and MTB um, took his baits and started mass producing them in the same colors like because he had a different style the way he painted the baits but um, they're called the bug square bill and that's it right there it was in a um, for the scavenger hunt you have to pick the right color and the size and everything and this one is um, boiled I think it's boiled bug Boil bug black, and they have a boil bug chrome, which has a chrome on the bottom. But this is this is the boiled bug black right there. Let me take it out, and then yeah, I'll take it out right now. Yeah, and we do have Hudson and Parker with us today. So it's supposed to be like hand painted colors. Comes with must add three uh, X triple grip hooks, I think. I don't know yeah. if I got it in the right order, but like this sick. Um, like hand painted colors. There's a little square wheel. I think it goes three to five, did it say? Mm -hmm. So that is absolutely sick. They've done stuff with Mike Buka for, from Bullshad as well. It's so cool that they're giving these, not that Bullshad was a small business, but they're getting these s somewhat small businesses and putting them into the mainstream. Okay, so the next bait that we're going to be pulling out is. Ten thousand fish, little death stalker with this spinner on here. This is a blade bait, which can be absolutely deadly in high pressure, um, in high pressured lakes or in cold water. And um, did, yeah, you already showed it. But instead of having a, another treble hook on the back, it has this little blade, so it gives it a little more vibration and flash and action. And um, fish just gobble these things up. It's a catch code 10,000 fish, that's doctor. But uh, it's half ounce, you can throw it on some heavier spinning gear. And um, you can also throw it on some uh, bait casting gear, as long as it's sensitive enough, because normally you're yo-yoing this off the bottom, or like um, crawling it real slow, or not crawling it, but swimming it really slow just above the bottom of the, the lake. So it is nice to have something more sensitive. And next here we have the Lumberjack Flipping Jig. Black and blue, 3 8 ounce. Comes with a mustache hook. It's got a little weed right there. It's You can fish it like you would a football or anything else. It's just, they just call it flipping because it's head. You can also, this that style head um, skips really well. So actually I would use this under docks mainly. But you can pretty much use this as anything. Has a really sharp hook. 
seems like a nice curve. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video of us unboxing the scavenger hunt baits from Mystery Tackle Box. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and feel free to comment. With that being said, don't forget to live that longer life, and I'll see you all in the next video.